So let's take a look at some if-thens with mail merge. Um, a little more complicated, for example, if someone is listed as female, you want to use female pronouns to go with it, or the vice versa. Or maybe instead of saying, I want to inform you that your son or daughter, you want to say your daughter, your son. Or you want to say that the person is proficient or not proficient on an exam. So let's see how that all works. So I have my data in an Excel spreadsheet right here. It's on a tab called Mail Merge in my spreadsheet. And I have my Mail Merge document in Microsoft Word open here. Okay. So um, I'm going to be working in Word and I go into the mailings tab and the first thing that I have to do is select my recipients. So I'm going to use an existing list and I have to go find that list wherever I've saved this Excel spreadsheet. And I'm going to choose the tab in there. And remember, I said it was the Mail Merge tab. Select that and click OK. And now that data is linked. Now I can use the data from that to create my fields. So here, um, I want Mr. or Mrs. to be put in here. And so I'm going to delete that. And instead, I'm going to come here under the rules and then go to if then else and under if then else it says what field name and I'm going to use the guardian gender if the guardian gender is equal to female insert Ms. if it isn't otherwise put in mister and I click OK then I'm going to insert a regular field. I'm going to insert the last name in there. This letter is to inform you that your son or daughter, okay, so I'm going to delete that and instead, and I'm going to put a space on each side, I'm going to again go to rules, if then else, if the student gender is equal to, and I can say male, insert son or otherwise put in daughter. Click OK. Has received a proficient not proficient grade? No, I don't want that. I want it to say when I insert this rules if then else and in this case I want to say that the average score is greater than or equal to 80. We're going to type in proficient and otherwise it's going to say non-proficient. And you just continue on this way and then you could pull in the score and again in this case it's just a regular merge field for the average score. And when we're done, we want to preview our results and we just go through. Okay, a proficient grade of 87. Dear Mr. Jones, this letter that your daughter has received a proficient grade of 87. Let's go to the next one, proficient. Okay, this one says non-proficient grade of 71. Okay, and et cetera, et cetera. So that's how you can use an advanced um, mail merge using the rules if then else. Notice that there are some other things. There's a fill in the blank. So I could fill in based on an answer a whole sentence if I wanted. So for the non-proficient people, I could say that um, we're having a study session before the next one on October 5th at 5 p.m and let them know some information. So that's how you can do some custom work with mail merge.